All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. What a great day to be a Houston Texans fan. We are a day removed from trading for Stefan Diggs, the star wide receiver from the Buffalo Bills. Uh, before we get into it, we do have some news. So per Adam Schefter, the Texans have removed the final three years on Stefan Diggs' current contract which will allow him to become a free agent after this upcoming season. They also took his $3.5 million in guaranteed money for 2025 and moved it up to 2024, which means he's getting a guaranteed total of $22.5 million. Uh, Schefter also noted that this is going to be added incentive to give the Texans the best version of himself in 2024 to potentially secure another long-term contract during the 2025 offseason. Um, folks, no matter how you want to cut it, no matter how you want to shape it, the Texans still fleece the Buffalo Bills. Like we said in yesterday's Texans video, if you're a Bills fan, I apologize. You got, I don't know what you're doing. I really have no idea what you're doing. He's 30 years old. This past season, 107 catches, 1,200 yards, eight total touchdowns. Um, I get it, man. He only had three catches for 21 yards in the divisional loss to the Kansas City Chiefs. But once again, we said this in yesterday's video. Folks, I remember people wanted Sean McDermott fired. People were wondering if Josh Allen was going to request a trade. People were... The Bills were on a huge downfall until like five to six weeks before the playoffs officially started. The Texans on paper are completely loaded and littered with talent. In fact, they kind of remind me of the Cincinnati Bengals from a couple of seasons ago when they faced up against the Los Angeles Rams in the Super Bowl. The Texans are undisputedly now a top five team in the National Football League. And we're going to talk a little bit mainly about the offense in tonight's video. But before we do, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. Texans fans, love you guys as always. Also, by the way, go Rockets. I think they're going to take down Golden State tonight. They really need it. Anyways, before we get into tonight's video, if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like button, hit that sub button for more. Uh, let's try and get this video 500 likes. Appreciate you guys so much. Um, all right. Here's the thing. So Houston in general has had a really good offseason thus far, mainly moves being on the defensive side of things. You know, we all know CJ Stroud had a breakout rugby of the year season. Uh, just unbelievable. Nico Collins looked phenomenal, turned himself into an emerging star wide receiver in the NFL. You had Tank Dell, such an intriguing rookie whose season was on Fortunately, cut short, uh, but they made a trade for Joe Mixon, right? And we're going to talk about that in just a second. But folks, I will finish this video off talking about the defense. Guys, Houston's loaded. They, like, like we just said, they are undisputedly on paper a top five roster in the National Football League. Undisputed top five roster. Uh, they're legitimate Super Bowl contenders. And I've been talking about this point all offseason season. And to my surprise, it's actually gotten a ton of backlash. So hopefully Texans fans have a different think thinking here. I think offense wins championships in today's day and age. Like, I get it. The Kansas City Chiefs defense, the back-to-back -back Super Bowl winners, they've been really good. Uh, this past season, they were a top five defense. But they built it through the draft. They built it through free agency. It wasn't, you know, they're not like the Patriots. This isn't the old days. Like, this isn't 15 years ago when the Patriots defense with Tom Brady, we're just running through everybody. Obviously, you still need a good defense. You need an above average defense, but nobody's sitting here thinking that the, the Houston Texans defense isn't good, uh, obviously highlighted by guys like Daniel Hunter. But you need offense. You need quarterbacks specifically to take down Patrick Mahomes in the back-to-back -back defending Super Bowl champions in the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, you want to have your foot on your gas. And I get it. This is a one-year deal. And I think actually in Houston's side, it's very beneficial because you know, one year from today, we're going to know a lot more about this Texans team based on how they went, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Stefan Diggs was entering year one of a four-year, $96 million extension. And when I have guys like rookie Tank Dell and I have emerging star players like Nico Collins and I have CJ Stroud, who's eventually going to get paid, um, you know, I just like this move. I, I think it keeps them fluid. I think it opens up a lot of potential possibilities. Maybe Stefan Diggs comes back if it all works well, if the Houston Texans end up winning a Super Bowl. If it doesn't, Houston's going to get far into the playoffs like they did last season. You know, we have to keep in mind, man, 
Uh, Houston with a shaky running back room. And I get it. Things were more consistent when Devin Singletary became RB1. Uh, but at the end of the day, Houston still ranked 22nd in the NFL in total rushing yards per game, averaging less than 100 yards per game rushing the ball. So now with Nico Collins, Tank Dell, and Stefan Diggs, uh, you can no longer just cover up that box and blitz this team right and left, night and day. Not that teams were necessarily doing that. Uh, but the addition of Joe Mixon and Stefan Diggs are game-changing A-plus moves. They're needle movers, clearly. Uh, Joe Mixon is reliable. He's dependent. He's a playmaker. And um, you know, I'm still hopeful for Damian Pierce. I know it's not looking great, but you know, Devin Singletary did a really good job at just running the ball, like catching the ball as well in the final what, like six to eight weeks of the official season, playoffs included. But folks, um, CJ Stroud paired up with that wide receiver room. Dalton Schultz can't forget about the backup, Brevin Jordan. Can't forget about Joe Mixon. Can't forget about Damian Pierce. Can't forget about this offensive line. Their offense is unstoppable on paper. And based on what we saw from CJ Stroud, in my opinion, especially when Tank Dell got injured, uh, it's just over. And when I go back and I watch that Baltimore Ravens game, going back to the offense wins championships in today's era, what lost the game for the Houston Texans? It wasn't the defense. You know, they got routed. They gave up 30 points. They didn't score much. They had like 210 total yards. They couldn't have the, they were losing the time of possession battle. Like when Tang Dell went down with an injury, you know, Noah Brown, really good role player. Nico Collins, really good wide receiver. Dalton Schultz, really solid tight end. Uh, but they just didn't have enough firepower offensively with the injury to Tank Dell to keep up with the Baltimore Ravens offense and defense. And when I like, when, man, when we take a look at this defense with the addition of Daniel Hunter, uh, folks, they're just loaded on the defensive side of things. Danico Autry, Aziz Al Shair, Jeff Akuda, uh, they're loaded. Derek Stingley Jr. This defense that was almost top 10 total last season, they're clearly going to be top 10, especially being led by D'Amico Ryans. And now you have an undisputed top five offense. So you have a top 10 at worst defense and a top five offense. Well, welcome to the top of the AFC, which they were already trending towards last season when they went 10 and 7 with rookie of the year, CJ Stroud. And even just speaking on the defense, Will Anderson Jr. said it, now teams, they're going to have to choose who they're going to double team. And you can't forget about Danico Autry. So this Texans team is going to be a big Super Bowl pick. I think that at the end of the day, they're going to be better than Baltimore next season. But that's just me. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this new look Houston Texans. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. I got a hiccup, so we're going to get out of here. But thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.